Welcome to Let's Get To Unboxed. Now your host, James Christopher. And welcome to Let's Get To Unboxed. It is Memorial Day and it is Corpus Christi Hooks Day. That's right, today we are focusing solely on the Corpus Christi Hooks and I picked them for our Memorial Day episode for a couple of reasons which I will get to. I do wanna talk a little bit about Memorial Day because it is a day that I think kind of defines the beautiful, the beautiful part of America where a one day can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. And for me, generally speaking, means all of those things at one time. For most people, I think, the idea of what it was intent for probably doesn't necessarily serve as purpose for everyone anymore, and that's okay. Um, for a lot of people, it is the beginning of summer, and it is summer movie season, and it is getting out to a ball game. For myself, as a seven-year military veteran, somewhat, I was a 13 Fox in the Army in the 90s to early 2000s, having spent about a year and a half, a year plus in Bosnia. Um, it's absolutely the day that's meant to be. It is, a, it is a somber day. It is a day of reflection to friends of mine who, as recently as a few years ago, lost their lives overseas. Um, and it's always a weird day for vets, I'll be honest, because we live in a really glorious time in this country where, regardless of political affiliation, most people want to thank those who served. And you get to thank you for your service, and it always comes from such a great place, but it's, it's weird for vets because for most of us, we're not thinking about our own service, we're thinking about our friends who didn't come home. And so again, it's, it's a pretty somber day. It's a day that I you know, will still definitely take the time to do those summary things. Um, I'm generally speaking in Corpus Christi, which is part of why they're our Memorial Day team today. But um, you know, just think about that. Obviously express your thanks to soldiers, to vets, but remember that we have Armed Forces Day for active duty soldiers and Veterans Day for Vets. And Memorial Day isn't a happy day for most people, particularly since now we've been in a state of conflict for, well, since right before 9-11, really, but really since 9-11. So, but the reason why the Corpus Christi Hooks are our Memorial Day team, they honestly do it better than just about anyone. One, they are our favorite brand, period, in baseball, mostly because of the different ways they express that brand that we're gonna to get to in a minute. But one of the things that they generally do on Memorial Day is they play as the Corpus Christi Blue Ghosts and they do things like batting practice on the USS Lexington. They do things like turning the, giving a 1940s vibe to the ballpark, to Waterburger Field in honor of the Lexington. So before we jump into the new gear, take a look at what last year's Blue Ghost weekend looked like. Lots of people end up at the ballpark early to take in batting practice. Not everyone gets to do it on the deck of a World War II era aircraft carrier. The USS Lexington, also known as the Blue Ghost, is now a floating museum dedicated to naval warfare both in World War II and beyond. We loved looking around, but now it's time to head up to take the quick trip to the flight deck for batting practice. Still going. This is at the point where I was really glad I joined the Army. Pretty soon we'll see sunshine. And here we are. Batting practice was set up at the stern of the ship. I was told in Army terms that means the back. For those of you worried about the environmental impact of batting practice, they had several boats set out to catch all the balls, including some people in kayaks helping to police up all of the projectiles. Before the Astros prospects dug in, the Hooks gave some local military personnel an opportunity to take some hacks. When it was time for the Hooks to dig in, however, you could really see the ball fly a little bit differently. Rusty and Sammy were not going to be left out of the fun, however. So we arrive at Waterburger Field, one of my absolute favorite ballparks. You're greeted by the statue entitled For the Love of the Game, 
It's an 18 foot statue depicting a young ball player and it's believed to be the largest bronze statue of a baseball player. The stadium was decked out for Memorial Day, including adorned with the number 16, representing CVN 16, which is the USS Lexington's nomenclature. We loved everything about the Blue Ghost iconography, most importantly, the tattoo-inspired logo. And so I'm really excited to look at what we got because one of the keys to minor league baseball is you've got to be nimble in your brand. You've got to be able to have a lot of different looks, express a lot of different things, but you want those, those looks and things and feelings to feel organic and natural and not forced. And we have gotten a couple of different looks from Corpus Christi to kind of show how they express that. Now we're gonna start with their faux back hat. I love this hat so much. It is my favorite hat in minor league baseball, I think period. I think that it is one of the really cool looks in, in the game. As a Houston kid, I was never really um, an Oilers fan, but I love the Oilers combination. I grew up a Cowboys fan. Um, Love the Andy Dalton signing by, signing, by the way. Good backup for Dak. He's not replacing Dak, calm down. But anyway, no, I just, I've always loved this color scheme. This is, I think, the best brand, the best branding look in minor league baseball today. So that's their faux back. So now we're gonna get to the Memorial Day look and Blue Ghost Weekend. So this is the Blue Ghost Weekend look. So the legend of the USS Lexington is really the story of two ships. The first USS Lexington, number CV-2 for Carrier Vehicle 2, sank at the Battle of Coral Sea. Now while the battle was going, there was another ship being built that was supposed to be called the USS Cabot. The Cabot was being built at the same shipyard that the first Lexington was built, and members of that shipyard requested that they change the name of the ship they were currently building to be the USS Lexington again, CV-16. And actually, it was the fifth ship at that point to be named the USS Lexington in naval history. Now, the nickname the Blue Ghost comes actually from the Japanese. So they sank the first Lexington at the Battle of Coral Sea. And then months later, the Lexington was back. So the Japanese started calling it the Ghost with the deep blue paint job to camouflage the ship. The name just morphed into the Blue Ghost and it stuck. Usually around Memorial Day, the hooks will play as the Corpus Christi Blue Ghosts and really do a great job expressing this brand and honoring what is the greatest generation, that generation that helped defeat fascism and really allow us to do things like go to baseball games and, and, and eat a hot dog at a ballpark. It's a really beautiful thing and by far my favorite alternative brand at any level of baseball. So now we'll get to their Copa de la Diversión look the Raspas. I love how the Texas teams identified the Copa look. And look, I'm a Texan, and so I'm always gonna come off a little pro-Texan, but from Corpus Christi to San Antonio to Round Rock, that part of our heritage and that part of our culture is very ingrained in being a Texan. We have our, our the influence that Latinx and Hispanic culture have had on us, it's not a stretch. And so what I like about all of those looks is that they didn't just go for low hanging fruit. So I love this look. And what's really clever about Corpus Christi is that every year the flavor of the Raspas is different. And so I have yet to order the green hat, but this is the blue hat from 2019. And again, really, really creative and innovative in how they handle that. Our last look also honors the Latinx, the Tejano culture in Texas in particular, and that is their Dios de los Hooks look. I'm also gonna reach back here and do a shout out to my other favorite Corpus Christi Hooks hat, their Christmas in July. This thing is awesome. So that does wrap us up for this episode of Let's Get To Unboxed. 
You can see why Corpus Christi was our pick for Memorial Weekend, beyond the blue ghost thing, but they do the best job, I think, in really reaching out to community, being a part of the community, and really embracing the fabric of the community. I do hope you all enjoy your Memorial Day. Do take some time to think about what it means and why it's there, and the fact that all the freedoms that we enjoy, the ability that we have, you know, we're going through the pandemic and we can argue about what we think and, and what we believe, and, and we can have hopefully civil but very different conversations with each other, knowing that we live in a country that guaranteed that we could have that right and that ability. And that right was sealed and promised by the blood of our soldiers that fell. I don't say this to mean that you have to treat Memorial Day in mourning, but because the, the hard part about America is that I think everybody who died would want you to enjoy family and enjoy the freedoms that they bought for you. So just take the time to reflect on the fact that some of us made the ultimate sacrifice so that way the rest of us could live in peace.